Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be on this super simple and easy to do warm toned smoky eye. As you guys know, warm tones have like taken over the world <laughs> over like the last two years. We all love our warm tones. I actually wore this look in my favorite highlighters slash glow tips video. A bunch of you guys said that you wanted to see how I got this look, so I went ahead and filmed it for you guys today, so I'm super excited. Like I said, this is a super, super, super easy eye technique. I only used three eyeshadows to create the entire thing, and you could totally use this exact technique with any other color. So I used warm toned, kind of like red and browns, but you can use the same technique and use blues or greens or cool tones or more neutral tones. You can really use this technique and create any type of color scheme that you'd like. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Hello everybody! So the first thing we're going to do to get this eye look started is highlight our brow bone. I'm using this nice creamy color from the Too Faced PB&J palette. You can use any creamy color you want though. I'm using my Morphe M333 and I'm just packing on a generous amount of the color under my brow bone and then I'm just dragging it down towards my crease to kind of blend it out so we don't have like a harsh white line across our brow bones. So I went ahead and I did one eye off camera and I'm gonna show you now how I do the other one. I'm starting off with MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow, a classic, an oldie but a goodie. And I'm using this fluffy brush from the, from the um, BH Cosmetics Necessary Eye Kit. Yes, I love this brush for nice blown out looks because it's really fluffy and it really like flares out. So it does a really good job of blending out the eyeshadow and giving that nice blown out look. I'm just putting this directly in my crease and then blending it up towards my brow bone and I'm just building it up until it's the intensity that I want it to be at. So next I'm going into the ABH eyeshadow in the color Morocco. You can buy this as a single shadow, but I just happen to have it in this palette, so that's how I'm using it. Um, I'm using a Morphe M502 brush, and I'm putting this directly in my crease. With the first color, we kind of blew it out, and we kind of really um, blended it up towards the brow bone. But with this color, I'm going to keep it more concentrated inside of my crease. So I'm putting a generous amount in my crease, and you'll see now I'm going to switch back over to the first brush that I started with, and I'm going to use that brush to blend out the Morocco color. So you never want to blend out with the brush that you're using to apply color because that's when it's going to start to look muddy and that's when the colors are going to get too high and it's going to be too dark towards your brow bone. You always want to use either a clean brush or a semi-clean brush to blend out. Super important tip. Next I'm picking up a different Morphe M502 and I'm picking up the ABH eyeshadow in the color Sienna and I'm just going to start to pack this on across my lid. I like to use a fluffy brush to pack on matte shadows because sometimes they can leave too much of a harsh line if you use a flat brush with matte shadows. Um, we want this again to be very blended so I'm kind of like fluffing it and like dusting it and packing it. I don't know how to describe it but right onto my lid. And now I switched over to the Morphe M502 that I was using for the color Morocco and I'm using that to blend the Sienna color and um, the Morocco color together. I'm also using a little brush to get right into the inner corner because my big fluffy brush didn't fit in that little area and I wanted this color all the way across the lid. So now I picked up my Morphe R41 brush and I'm using this on my lower lash line with the color Sienna to smoke out my entire lower lash line. I'm going from inner corner all the way to outer corner and I'm also bringing it up to make that little effect that I love so much to kind of give me that cat eye effect without the winged eyeliner, which you just saw me do. So now for eyeliner, this is kind of like the main event of the look. I'm using the Beauty For Real Shadow Stick in the color Midnight Marathon. I got this in a boxy charm and I love it. So I put it directly in my waterline and then once it's all in my waterline, I'm putting it on my lashes kind of like, re like not on my lower lash line, but like in my lash line, if that makes sense to you guys. So that it's not just in my waterline, but when I have my eyes open and I'm looking at you, you still see that beautiful bronzed effect. And it really adds a nice pop to the look since the look is all matte. So now for the inner corner highlight, I'm using the Ofra highlight in the color Rodeo Drive and I'm highlighting my inner corner. I love this color as an inner corner highlight and I'm also putting a little bit right there on my brow bone. So I went ahead and threw on some lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in the Style Queen Bee and I threw on some mascara also and now I'm going to finish off the look with some lipstick. So I'm using the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the color Aries. It's in collaboration with Manny MUA. I love the Ofra Liquid Lipstick formula. It's one of my favorites and this is like a really pretty pinky peachy type color but it's a little bit light. I love it on me but I never wear such light pinky lipsticks. I always wear more nudes so whenever I wear this color I always put a little bit more of um, a gloss with a little bit of a brownish type tinge to it. 
um, on top to kind of neutralize it just a touch. So this is the ColourPop lip gloss and the color WeHo, which is one of my favorites. I love the ColourPop lip glosses. They're an amazing price and they're really, really really good and this color is actually really similar to one of my favorite lip glosses ever which is kylie cosmetics literally this is kind of like a dupe for that so once you're done with this this is the finished look thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found this easy smoky eye technique helpful um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more of my videos go ahead and just subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire.